Howdy. Welcome. Ascended stars. Leo, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. You know what? I wanted to find, okay, since I couldn't find the, um, my little, my little, uh, happy birthday thing, I'm going to give you the unicorn. Okay. You're going to get the unicorn for your birthday. So there you go. Happy birthday. Don't say I never gave you anything. No, seriously. I feel like Leo, I feel like somebody, you feel like somebody overlooked your birthday in a way this year, or you, that, that might be like a feeling that, um, that a Leo has out there. So I apologize. <laughs> I'm looking, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> the energy, I'm asking everybody. Okay. I just did a survey today. <laughs> this is a timeless reading, but, uh, you know, Leo season, whenever it's timeless, but it, it could be when you see this, I did a survey and everybody is sleeping. It's like, I'm in a twilight zone movie where everybody's sleeping. Everybody's tired. So, um, I do have my fan in the background to keep me cool as I, deliver the messages to my collective my leo tigers and lions and queens and kings royalty okay here we go all right so i'm so pleased to be able to give you the messages wow this is uh okay we're gonna really dig deep here that's what it's a deep day it's a deep diving day um a lot of epiphanies revelations uh, you're, you're, you're diving into maybe the unknown, right? That's what Leo's doing. Leo is retrograde in Venus. It's in the underground now with Venus. And this is interesting. So this is more going into like more sexual, scorpionic, plutonian, Lilith, energy snake and we got in the snake and then the thing i never said was the snake can shed its skin and then begin again the snake can shed its skin and begin again all right so i got a certain um way that spirit's kind of wanting me to take this every time it's a different setup it's a different way of delivering the messages but the messages get delivered so Thank you for your patience. Spirit is here to help guide us and help us. And we can always lean into the meditative slate state and uh, withdraw our energy, Leo. We withdraw, withdraw our energy and be in the beingness of it all. How did, you know, how did life begin? If you have to start from the beginning, start from the beginning. You have enough oomph and power to carry you through. That's all I know. And I wish and share it with everybody because some of us earth signs. Okay. Wow. <sighs> Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Ecstatic union. No way. No way. No way. Somebody's name might be Jose or Joseph. Okay. Because that's what I was going to say. No way, Jose. All right. So this is... um. Very, very interesting energy. All right. Can you see it? Should I, I see if I can tilt it a little bit towards you guys so you can see it better? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Dun, da, 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 drum roll. For my Leos, I wish you a healthy, an abundant, loving, memorable birthday, okay? Or a birthday, a good uh, celebration. What's underneath here? Ecstasy. Wow. Oh, my goodness. You guys like all the pleasures of life. So you definitely know how to party. And you know how to pop the bottles when you need to. <laughs> Let's pop the bottles. It's a pop the bottle energy. I've been getting that too lately. Okay, so the first card up, Leo, is the void. So yeah, this void is a little something else here. The great void. So you want, this is a, this is a judgment. So you have an opportunity here for something else to dive deeper and to make something richer, right? If you go deeper, dive deeper, you might find some treasures. Be careful for what you look for, right? Be careful for what you 
Yeah, the garden and the gate. So you're like afraid to go out into the gate. You're at this place where you, you can see uh, going out to the gate requires more than yourself, right? It requires your energy of courage and strength. The world, see the cycle is over. And this woman is all full of snakes. I wish I could cover her up and I'm sorry for my bad nail job. But there are two twirl. There's two snakes, and if not, and I probably can get more in here. But there's a big butterfly. There's snakes, and her whole belly is the world. It's probably one snake, but it's shed its skin because the colors have changed. Yeah. Okay. So this is a shedding of the skin, and now you have. So you have to let go of the old, my beautiful. Leos, you're still in the process of letting go of the old, have the courage, move on, process whatever needs to be processed. Um, there's mysteries here, though. This gives me the energy of mysteries that you're solving, okay? With the purple energy, this is the Saint Germain uh, making dirt into gold, Gaia energy here. The world card is represented by Earth Element in this deck. So let's continue. A man holding a heart. You do have somebody's man, uh, heart captured here. And they want to make an investment with you. And they want to move forward. And this man is a pentacle man. So he could have money. Nine of uh, da, 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 earth. I think your ancestors are all helping you. And um, nine is like close. Is coming to closures. It's not the ten yet. It's the nine. So I feel like this man wants to be in your community or this man might might already be in your community. He might be um, within, within a, a range of where you live nearby, right? I almost feel like he's walking distance in this case, though, you know? Yeah, for some of you. Crone Resurrection... Six chakra Archangel Metatron. Yeah, I was just waiting for you, Metatron. I knew you'd be coming. Metatron comes in. He is the Archangel dedicated to the Virgo energy. And I can give you more information because I have it. I have it. I have it. Okay, so Metatron is helps children, sensitive kids, indigo, recovery keeper, Helps record keeping skills and organization. So this is, that's why it's probably the Virgo because of organization. But this energy is, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's an energy here, a person. Okay. There's a person. I feel this is a person that is organizing themselves. They're using all, they're very wise. Okay. Um, this is a feminine energy. Yes. Wow. So this could be a Virgo. You could be dealing with the Virgo or somebody who's a Virgo. This could be your mother, too. Your mother might have been somebody very uh, knowledgeable. I'm almost getting like this could be a grandmother. This could be an ancestor, okay? But this could also be um, actually somebody. Wow, I don't know. This is amazing energy. Like I, 40, somebody, okay, so somebody might be 40. They might be in their 40s. They might be older for sure. So this is an older person here. past 40. Metatron is working with them to organize, to help them out, okay? To get a foundation, to get a better foundation and to get more grounded, okay? This person's very capable, but um, they need to like become, like trust spirit more, do more like morning meditations, like have some kind of routine. Um, they need to up their they're there. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. They need to up their self value. Okay. Because this purple represents royalty, right? It's what, uh, the, what royalty was able to wear. They have gold and purple. Okay. And so like this person's very passionate. This person's super creative. Okay. So they need to learn to funnel this creativity. Yes. Okay. Door to personal healing and happiness. Wow, what did I say? And this is like art therapy, but this is like doing uh, some artful thing and maybe you can sell it at the sun at the Sunday craft somewhere or 
the community center. Ooh, the community center. The community might buy your products here. You have to start a little and then work there. Start within your community, okay? So this is like a, an emotion, something that's rising within you that you're like, that's a good idea. Yes, this is about keeping yourself up afloat, okay? Keeping yourself independent. But they do want to throw confusion spells, okay? There could be somebody here that is trying to get you. Wow. But you have the courage and the strength to move forward. Your card. Excellent. Okay? Yes. To move forward because when you do that, they're afraid you're going to reach your success and victory. Bam. The wind is hitting that one. But you have opposition here. See? Yeah, you have opposition here. The crow. So pay attention to the crows. Those are warning. Those are warnings, okay? Or people also can also just criticize you, okay? They're, oh, look at them. Look at, they think they're so wonderful. They think that they're the best. Yes, you know what they're saying. You know that they're talking behind your back. The high priestess energy. You have a lot of intuition, trust it. And you're entering this new beginning, okay? That's what's happening. So that's the door to personal healing and happiness, and that's all about mother creativity within you. My Leos, my Leos. Community twice. Interesting. Okay, so this is the community. Ha they adore you, Leo. Okay, you have a fan base with the community, basically. That's what I feel. But you do have a hater out there within there. Okay, so within this. Okay, let me show you something. I feel within this community, you got a hater. And they're trying to spread criticism. All right. And then another thing, we still have the full moon in Aquarius, which is your debilitation. So watch your words. Don't uh, just, it's better to listen twice as much as you speak because something about like you might be boastful or you might say too much and reveal too much to your enemies. Okay. They might pick up on something that you should just keep your mouth shut. Yes. And that's about love. Okay, you might, okay, and another thing is you might be like trying to impress somebody and then a group of women are like, oh, she's trying to, he's trying, or she, she's trying to impress him. He's trying to impress her. That's the energy I get here. So it's better to play it on, you know, play it cool and collected, especially in public. Wow, this is so your reading. I love it. Yeah, you're in denial here. Somebody's in denial. Somebody's in denial of, of what? Of the love affair, of the passion, goddess of the moon, of their emotions. Somebody is in denial of their emotions. Okay. Yeah, and their passion. They're in denial. So somebody uh, is in denial of their of their emotions and their passion for somebody. It's a, you know, whoever it is. Who, this, this masculine... So there could be a Leo here that is in denial about a masculine that really wants them, okay? And they haven't, maybe you're, you've are you been hurt before, you still are not ready to heal. You're still healing here because we have this healing. But you're getting close, Leo, you're getting close, okay? To open up your heart to somebody and to really experience the love and the affection and the passion that you are meant to do in this life. That you, well, your expressive self, basically, that's who you are. That's who you are. Let's get some of these um, cards that, let's see what this man is about. Man holding a coin, spirit. Can you give us a little more info on uh, where to go with that? From the Leo Collective here. A shaman. He's a shaman. Wow. Wow. Trust in higher forces. Set your sights higher. All of these came out. So this is somebody that you might have met that is a shaman. They're very spiritual now. Their ancestors are talking to them. They're trying to set their, they're telling them to set their heights, their, their sights higher. And to come and hunt you down, to come and get you. <laughs> Track down your fears and desires. Wow. They're trying to really um, get a hold of their fears and desires before they can come over to you. 
and uh, be devoted and committed. They're trying to learn how to be devoted and committed. Wow, they don't even want me to say that for you. And they have to learn what their triggers are. Wow, this is so beautiful. Take charge with authority so that you can take charge with authority. So they can take charge with authority and come over. This is so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I love this message. Okay, so what else can we... Let's go with some... Um, what we need to let go, the uh, surrender cards. Beautiful, beautiful. This person is really working on themselves, Leo, to come to you. Or they have already worked on themselves. Um, they have a huge amount of emotion for you. Okay, maybe the ocean means something to you. Maybe they want to take you to the ocean. But um, you've been, you've been like doing the work with your creativity and pouring into you. Surrender to your intuition. That was the high priestess that we saw. Where would I see? That? Well, the moon, definitely the moon. Okay, so this new moon is your is your moon in Leo. So you you have to trust your gut, your trust your intuition. It's gonna really um, tell you to do something here. Maybe to move towards somebody or to accept somebody moving towards you. Tune in to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Okay, so this guy, I think this person's going through doing the work and coming in with their a strong intuition. I mean, they're represented as a shaman. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Okay, so there's some some like actual 3D symptoms that are happening. You need to look at these. These look these look very much alike. You need to pay attention to that energy, okay? Mother, your intuition. Look at that third eye is on fire. Where is um that third eye is on fire right there, okay? So you 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 got a direct source with you got a direct line with source. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Perfect, perfect, perfect message for you. Thank you very much, Spirit. I'm going to leave that there. We're going to get some other cards here. Let's get some health cards for you. Let's see how how healthy you are, How what you need to pay attention to. Um, I don't know. Health has been coming in strong for me uh, as of yesterday. The the energy drain is just every... Now I, some people are having heart issues. These are 60 plus people under 70. But um, I don't, you know, the health issues are coming in. So, yeah. And you guys roll the heart, actually. The solar plexus and the heart chakra. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead, spirit. I'm on track here. We're feeling good. St your bone. Okay. Yeah. This could be your teeth. You might have to check your teeth. Or um, if you. There's this thing in, in Chinese medicine, like if you have back issues, it's also a psychological issue of like you feel burdened, you know, like you're carrying a lot on your back, literally. So people go to the chiropractor and all that, but um, also as a massage therapist, people hunch their back and then that tends to really damage and tense up the muscles. Uh, that That's like a, a syndrome that everybody has because they're hunched over on their desk. But this is also like for big breasted women sometimes. So you need a massage on the front and not on the back. Ask your husband or boyfriend. Ooh, Hawthorne, heart healing. Yep, you're healing your heart. Exactly. And those women get breast cancer. I hate to say it, a lot of them. And then like, um, I would massage like, you know, the, the tissue around the breast, they loved it. And uh, they loved it because they hold so much there. Even a man, even a man might need a massage there. It's a wonderful feeling. It really, so at, anyway, maybe, God, I feel like you guys really need touch. Mm, so interesting. Huh. Okay, somebody's healing their heart. And um, it's a heavy burden because bones rules the Saturn energy of, and Saturn is metal. So it's like a heavy load. It's a heavy load going up the hill, healing the heart and letting go of stuff that you need to let go of that doesn't, you know, that's not yours. I'm going to tell you something about Leo. You guys are so wonderful, but you, 
I feel like you incarnate into really messed up families or what situations. And I feel you're the that that's fire that singes everything through the power of love. So um yeah, I, I don't want to get into that a little. I, I got to back off a little bit more. I got to back off. Okay, so we're going to leave this off because before we make this really a long, long video, um, close your ears. I'm going to get you some trinkets or some dice or whatever comes out. And let's see. Let's see. Let's have some fun now for my Leos. What can we give them from their birthday, their birthday reading, August? What can we tell them? All right. We got a lot of dice. Ooh. The microphone had to come out. Woo! Drop the mic. Somebody's got something to say. Something else fell. Hold on. Is that a key? <laughs> I think it's a key. Shoot. It's a key. They don't want you to know that you have the key, baby. Okay. Somebody's a guitarist. Play me some Jimi Hendrix. Uh, let's see. We have the dolphin. Look. Oh, how funny. The dolphin's tied. Oh, my God. Somebody's spying on their love. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> the dolphin the dolphin and and like hiding they were looking behind you know like side hiding or or they're looking at somebody like ooh, i want that interesting you got the key twice the key twice so both of you feel the same when you meet each other when you connect you actually both have the key to each other's heart that's the way i'm gonna take it and i, I did mention the ocean somebody wants to go near the ocean somebody does like some paddle boarding or, or, or they just, it's a special place. The ocean's a special place. Okay, you have the elephant of good luck. Okay, so this is ancient and um, memory. The heart radius, the heart, the heart. When um, an elephant dies, the whole village, which is the community, comes together and goes around that elephant. Ooh, ooh that's, that's interesting energy, okay? This is about learning to build community from, okay? Joy. By having, by holding the vibration of joy, which is your energy, okay? Your fifth house is here, number five. This is changes coming, okay? Ch -ch -ch changes. So you got to turn something around, okay? It's almost like you have to wait for the wind to come. Like you got to set yourself up for the wind to come so you can just get in that area and go. Interesting, okay? You got that. You're a musician. You need to express yourself. Some of you sing, dance, and sing, get up and do your thing happy birthday madonna yeah she's she's coming in okay so that's what i got my leos thank you so much i'm wishing you the best have a fabulous birthday and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and all my info's down below um and yeah i'm doing readings and i have some products as well so have a wonderful year much health much love much happiness much wealth Bye bye